20 years later, is a little bit of an emotional and a head trip. I mean, I started out really not knowing what I'm doing, just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, and I kind of got this reputation of, oh, she's the Hooters girl, and so I kind of just rolled with it. Through the years, though, they have still used that girl to sell their image, but I'm still just happy to kind of be a little part of that because that, that is where this all came from. Now, will that have anything on under it? Yeah, no. That's what they want to see. I'm thinking let them fly. Linosaurus Rex, the oldest <laughs> living Hooter girl. I can't believe that was me. And that, God, what a body. I had such a great body. I really did. It was, it's so sad. It's really so sad. I am really excited about seeing Kelly Jo. Uh, she and I go way back. My name is Kelly Jo Dowd. I started at Hooters when I was 20 years old as a Hooter girl. 17 and a half years later, I am now a manager at Palm Harbor Hooters. This trip came about because the owners are so amazing. They very much wanted me to be a part of it. And they um, completely have made me feel like they appreciate me. They've given me th this amazing trip. Look at the view. Oh my god. Awesome. This is so beautiful. Hi, I'm Bob Huco, and 20 years ago, when I was with the Bucks, I went to the first Hooters in Clearwater, Florida. And now I have my own entertainment company, Huco Entertainment. I am looking forward to seeing Bob Huco. He is trying to hook up with the newest babe. How about a uh, vodka tonic and whatever you want? Nothing for you? What is your name? Are you going to be here all week? And he's working it with the Huco charm that only he possesses. I'm only 20, 20 flipped in years. You're still bow I'm still bow legged, and you're, now you're a millionaire. Nobody could ever imagine. We, you know, we just wanted to open a little joint we couldn't get kicked out of, and now to come to a place like this with 1,500 rooms filled and uh, gorgeous young women that work for us, it's just exciting. Lifestyle to the rich and the famous, they're always complaining. to the uh, cocktail reunion party and we're looking forward to seeing a lot of people we haven't seen yet so I'm psyched. As of October of 2002 I was diagnosed with breast cancer and it's been an emotional roller coaster <laughs> definitely. I had a double mastectomy to fight this cancer as aggressively as I possibly can that was extremely hard and I'm frustrated about it I'm very very frustrated about it today. I'm more frustrated about it than I was like two days ago. I have my moments where I'm cool and all of a sudden I just like, I'm, I get pissed, I get mad, I get angry. I just finished a long battle with um, three surgeries and eight chemotherapy treatments. So this is my celebration. Checking out some people I haven't seen in a long time, how they react to the way that I look right now. Welcome to the Hooters 20th anniversary. You've seen her, she's the original Hooter girl. Ladies and gentlemen, Lynn Austin, right over here. This is like a family reunion, not a Hooters reunion. This is family, and you just pick right back up, and it feels the same. I feel like I'm 22 again. Although when I was 22, they did not grow them like this, and thank God. I would like to thank Hooters. It has been an amazing 20 years. Now, hasn't it been great? She's one of the reasons Hooters is what it is today, right there. And you guys are all amazing. You're beautiful. This is going to be so fun. Hello, everybody.
recognizable Hooter girl right now. When you don't have your hair, you look entirely different. Of all the people it could have happened to, I just can't believe it was her. Kelly Joad had a famous cover shot on a calendar a few years back. She's, she's like a Princess Grace. That's the way she was. You know, what's crazy is the fact that I've walked by several people that I know that I want to hug and say hi to, but they don't recognize me. What do you mean, date? Which uh, one of my ex-girlfriends are you going to hook up with? Darling, how are you? Trying to pick up ass? I've been to many hundreds of events with, with uh, Hooters girls. Great times. They have great times. These girls are the funnest, the most outgoing girls that you're ever going to see. Wow. You look incredible. Can you stop? My eyes are right here. I know. I'm just like, I'm like, <laughs> am I right or what? business card. several people that I'm walking by that know me. Not everybody knows exactly what I'm going through, but upon reuniting with them, they do now. I, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in October. That's why I have no hair. I went through chemotherapy, but I'm doing really well. I'm doing really good. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Yeah. How are you doing, sweetie? Oh, I've been pretty good. This has been a shock to everybody, you know what I'm saying? I ran into Jill, and I had asked her, have you received your first mammogram yet? She said no. I was supposed to get a mammogram at 35 and whatever. Well, you need to. Don't, know, look at me. You want to be like me? Don't be like me. Get your ass to the doctor and get it done. I'm very young to have breast cancer. Well, I probably had it when I was 36. Well, you still have a The strength that I'm gathering from the people that I haven't seen in a while has been incredibly uplifting for me. It just took me back to that time when I first started at Hooters all over again. It was just absolutely amazing. I haven't seen Kelly Jo in years and she looked great and her personality, she's got the best heart. I could not have written a better script for myself. It has been so fun and I hope I'm here in 20 years. Lynn still has that gleam in her eye. That same gleam I saw 20 years ago, she still has. I mean, that's Hooters. To see the guys that started all, that's what tonight was all about. The guys and the girls that, that started it back in 83. It's times like these you learn to live again. It's times like these, time, time again.